welcome to Seekers of the Eternal podcast. I am at Elevate 2022 with Zoe Osborne. Zoe, thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, thank you for having me. <laughs> so what brought you to Elevate 2022? So I'm actually part of the residency that they hosted this year, and as well as I was also on the panel, so I was a speaker. So Very that's why cool. I'm here. Yeah. And what was it that you shared with everyone at Elevate this year? So we were talking about uh, art in NFTs and how there's an intersection between the art and the technology and how artists can really monetize that. So one of the things that we're doing through Seekers of the Eternal is we're supporting Chris Parks, who's a phenomenal IRL artist, and he's transitioning to web three mm -hmm. he's had commercial success in the real world and you know he's very interested in seeing where this web three is going but there's a lot of hesitancy i'm sure you found as well for a lot of irl artists to move because lots of scams of course that have come up but uh, there's also a negative connotation associated with nfts sometimes because there's some pfp projects that maybe have haven't done as well so what do you what kind of message do you send to artists who are interested in the space but are really unsure uncertain yeah, I'm glad you asked that question because that's always what I'm talking to other artists about. And I always say, find your community. Mm. It may sound a bit cliche, but when you find people that create art similar to you or have a similar ethos, you're going to find the collectors that also collect that type of art. And then you end up almost like in a little bubble. Yeah. So there's that noise outside. There's other types of projects, but there's just always different ways of using NFTs. And right. just in terms of like the in real life, you have different types of art styles. It's the same for NFTs. So, so how do you yeah. envision like the utility and and the benefits that could come through an NFT project versus, you know, having beautiful art on a wall somewhere? Yeah, it's another good question. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes I just say the utility is collecting art from the artist, especially if you're a digitally native artist, like your work is like it originates as only digital. Yeah. There is no way that you can monetize that and someone can have that in their house. How else do you show a video file in your house? So you can actually either show it on your phone, of course, but also there's screens. So True. what we're seeing is that in the technology, there's lots of screens that you can connect your wallet with. So there's that. And obviously, like being part of the artist community, if you're in real life artists that you have physical artworks, there's other ways that you can use it. But sometimes I like to say the utility is the artist's work. <laughs> I like that message. I think that's beautiful. And if you think about it, there's a lot of artists who that's what they want, right? It's like, this is what I've created. This is all of me. So appreciate it for what it is. Um, are there things that you found within the community in Web3 that, it, that makes it a little bit unique and special that artists may have never experienced before? Yeah, the biggest one I think is the royalties. Mm -hmm. So being able to say, you can see when this artist minted it, and then you can see when it was sold, how much it was sold for. And then you also know that written in that contract, as soon as it's resold, you're gonna get your royalties from that. And that's something that's really important because usually true. it goes to someone you never know when they resell it. That's so true. Yeah. And it could, yeah, and then you get that return for the rest of your life and you're yeah. connected to that piece. Yeah. That's wonderful. So what what's your greatest takeaway from Elevate 2022? Did you did you have did you have a chance to listen to other speakers where you were like, wow, that's information I didn't know prior to coming here? Yeah, I mean, I definitely caught Venus speaking yesterday, yeah. <laughs> Venus Williams, and that was great just in terms of talking about also learning to win. That was a really big mm. takeaway because, you know, we're here and we're listening to all these different people and everyone has either a different level of success or different stories that they have to share. And like understanding that this is a really new technology and everyone has different opinions or there's different things. It's, I think the biggest takeaway was dive into it, you know, try different things, be authentic to yourself and just be ready. Like if you, you may not always get the best opportunity, you may not always win, but yeah. you know, you just try your best. Yeah. yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. Venus and Serena both are like two of the biggest role models. I think in IRL, I feel like it, once people start grasping what this opportunity is, there's going to be a Venus Williams and Serena Williams in this space, you know, and I just can't wait to see something like that occur as well. I'm sure there already there already is, but they just don't have the same type of notoriety as yet. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you working on right now? How do you spend your time every day? So um, I love to still create my artwork so uh, apart from being like offered different opportunities to showcase my work mm. so i'm sometimes creating new pieces for different galleries i also just like i get an idea of a story that i want to tell with my art and then i just you know go into my computer and still like the at-home artist like it's still something that's just natural for me that's incredible so yeah. you're pure to the art you're not focused on too much of the so when it comes to like web3 and building community and all of those kinds of things do you still feel like that's also your responsibility as an artist? 
and that's something that I do and sometimes that's something that I'm toying with because okay. I personally haven't made a project where it is a closed community. So say you have this token, so that means you're part of the right, community. Right. But I do have my collectors and I do engage with them on Twitter. Okay. But um, I still try to create those real life experiences because I'm still so early in my art form that I, I want to keep pushing myself on right. that side. Right. So. Well, now as we move forward into the future and you see this technology becoming adopted, what is your hope for the space with the technology, as technology meets art? Yeah, I, I really hope that there's more understanding and more, I guess, like ease of being able to purchase these digital pieces and just like having it on your home on those screens, as I mentioned, because I think that a lot of people question, why am I buying an NFT? And I think like that is a really good way, especially if you want to collect art, yes. for you to really understand that. And then also for it to be easy for artists in all different geographical locations, because as much as anyone can technically make a wallet, given that they have access to the technology, mm. sometimes the cryptocurrency itself, like there's still barriers there. So yes. I would love to see like those barriers being broken down. Well, somebody who's a genuine artist making genuine art, um, it, it gives me some pride because there's NFTs that I have in my wallet that I'm very embarrassed to show my friends and family and my, my parents, especially. Um, but when I know that there's a genuine art creating, genuine artist creating genuine art, it's something that you can be proud of. And now you get a chance to use technology in a completely new way. So yeah. thank you for the contributions that you made to the space and you continue to make to the space. And thank you for sharing some time with me today. And if people want to follow your work and follow your journey, how can we best follow you? Yeah, you can find me uh, on Instagram, on Twitter, and my handle is the Zoe Kid one and yeah zoe z-o-e and okay. that's it the zoe kid one yes wonderful yeah. thank you again for joining us today. thank you <laughs>